Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the reality of being a Timmy. The economy sucks right now. We have a presidential election that could end poorly. Half the U.S. will be upset. The other half will be elated, but 50-50, basically where anywhere you slice it. If you guys are interested in politics, subscribe to my other channel. I'm trying to wean down this channel, maybe eventually get to one video a day. These videos don't take very long to make, by the way. So, uh, talking about the situation and the card prices and the liquidity, it has all dropped. You look at Disney or Lokana, game stores are so happy to carry that when they initially came out, and now they don't want it anymore because of the reprints. You look at Meta Zoo, that one has literally bankrupt. You look at Flesh and Blood, first edition Monarch boxes, they're still selling for $40. Legitimately, I have a screenshot of $40 plus shipping. That cannot be a good sign when they were selling for $500 plus, right? What do you get? You get, what, two boxes for $1,000 minimal buy? Uh, a lot of this stuff has gone down in price. Uh, even the Pokemon, even if the stuff goes up in price, people don't know how to sell it. And they're forced to just sell them on mass and Facebook and take a deal. I think a lot of really good deals is going to happen in the next month or two. Maybe, dep and then depending on who's president, it could be four years since recovery. Things are really bad right now. Uh, things are really, really bad right now. People are losing their jobs. AI is replacing it. Uh, people are being underpaid. The collapse of a lot. The stock market is on a downward spiral and it's unlikely to really recover. Um, and I work in marketing. So when marketing, so luckily I have an immigration law firm and for obvious reasons, immigration has been on fire. Every, every uh, day we get five to 10 phone calls from potential clients. Out of those five to ten, we probably sign one of them. One a day for an immigration law firm is like insane in terms of client uh, sign, new client. So immigration is hot as f. But luckily for that, because the marketing is not hot as f, I think it has a lot to do with people are afraid. People are afraid to spend money. People are afraid to lose their jobs, and these are things that you know make a lot of sense, right? They, these are things that people should be afraid of in this current atmosphere. It's only going to get worse. You know, I hate to tell you this, but it's only really going to get worse. So in my other channel, we talk about economics, politics, Trump and Camilla Harris, and the general consensus is quite negative. So should you really be investing in buying cardboard right now? No, because everyone's dumping it. I think uh, one of Alpha Investments' newest videos, he's going to sell like old boxes now. That's not a great sign. People are like, wow, that's amazing. Not really, <laughs> you know, that's probably a bad sign because these vintage boxes don't sell. The liquidity of the boxes is, you know, I go back to one of my favorite boxes of all time, Judgment. Judgment is a $1,200 box. You open it, you're probably going to get less than $50 in cards that you could order from Card Kingdom today. These old boxes don't really have much value. Uh, even the reserve list boxes. I was buying a bunch of Mirage the other day, like maybe a month ago. And as soon as you open it, all the value is gone. Even if you hit an Outlines Eye Diamond from one of these like starter decks, they have like two or three rares. You still don't break even. You paid $400 for it. You hit the best card in it. It reminds me of Pokemon Base Unlimited. You pay $400 for a booster pack. It may not even have a foil, and the best card in it raw, not graded. I know these efforts always talk about it like as if these cards come graded. A raw card can a fresh from the pack card could be off centered. It could have mangled corners. I mean, it doesn't have to be. The surface could be damaged, right? It's been sitting there for a long time. No, it's not worth it. Even if you got a Charizard, it is not worth any pack that you paid. And that's assuming you hit the best card. So in many of these vintage boxes, even if you do hit the best card in the booster box, which is rare, which is hard enough, you ain't going to make your money back on the box. There's some booster box. I don't know why the hell I bought this shit. Uh, I bought like Fallen Empires. 
I think the most valuable card in the Fallen Empires is like five dollars. <laughs> With the booster box I bought for like eight hundred at the time. What I don't know what's sitting at right now. Six hundred, five hundred, four hundred, but like this stuff is not valuable, guys. It's it it is not valuable. I love it. I, I would love if I would pay money Wubby and I had infinite money and my subscribers could open it with me. I would love it. Yeah, it would be great. But hell no, man. Should you be paying your own money to open it? Unless you are, again, extremely wealthy. I think this whole Timmy thing. So these Timmys have been sending me these. Uh, I haven't opened the email to. I don't know what email they're sending it to. Um, but they're not sending it to my phone. So my phone has like. My RunRacks email is my marketing agency, and then has my personal email. So they might be sending it to like a random email I had set up on YouTube a long time ago. I haven't checked, but there, this one is from January. It's probably a pretty good, pretty good uh, assessment as to like the form FOMO that was happening at the time and even happening today. Uh, it's the same thing with every card game, right? There's nothing wrong with it, but you eventually will be poor. If you buy every Magic the Gathering product, it's, oh, this product is better than the last product. Oh, my God, look at this product. Oh, my God, this product is so exciting. You're going to end up broke, man. You're going to end up broke because that's the only place you can go. Again, I, I would be very, very alarmed. Uh, my own collection is too big for my own, right? Um... My own collection um, is too big, and it's just not, you know, not cool, right? Uh, it's too big, and I'm trying to buy a bigger home, and it's going to be impossible to move all these stupid cards, and, you know, a baby on the way, and you're just thinking, holy shit, man, I have rooms over this shit. I have garage, I have a free car garage full of this shit. I have storage, which I'm paying fees on. It's too much, guys. Like, you know, have I take it from someone who has done this, like other people. Like, there's no reason anyone in God's name or God's, you don't, you don't need that many cards and they won't become valuable in time. They're just too much shit being reprinted and too much things being printed, right, the whole time. Um... Yeah. So basically my my main issue is that too much FOMO, people bought way too much of the things that they don't have. It's it's bad. It's bad. And it's only going to get worse. And when you really need money, you're going to sell your magic cards or whatever for 10 cents and a dollar if you're lucky.